Missy, you just said it, your last sectionals, but maybe more importantly, your last short course meet before college. Uh, I mean, take me through the emotions. What's going through your head right now? It's done. It is. It's so emotional. I mean, this whole week, my whole team and all the seniors and I have just been like going on all these memories that we've had at all the sectional meets we've been to over the years and it's crazy thinking that this could possibly be my last sectionals and actually Lexi Miladrowicz, Grace Carlson and I, the Pac-12 flags are still back in the ready room so we all took a picture under the, under the Pac-12 flag so we had Stanford, USC and Cal all represented there and I think the next time the three of us are going to be swimming a short course meet together will be Pac-12s so it's just unbelievable to think that this whole new chapter of our lives is actually starting and it really is here. I want to keep talking about the future but let's first talk about the meet so far or yeah. the meet this week and uh, some of the highlights obviously it was a terrific 200 backstroke Thank 200 you. free <laughs> what was the best swim in your mind of all the swims that you had Honestly, I think the one I was most excited about was my anchor on the 4x100 free relay. Um, that was fun to watch. Thank you. It was so much fun. So I went a best time in my 100 free here to 47.2, which I was ecstatic about. And then my anchor coming home on the relay was, I think, a 46.7. So I was over the moon about that. I was so excited. But it was one of those races where we were behind and I got a chase down, which is like my favorite thing to do in the world is on that last relay and just trying to get... I mean, your hand on that wall for not only yourself, but for your relay, because I think there's just so much more joy and, like, gratification, I guess, when you finish that and you know that, like, your relay did that as a team, and it wasn't just kind of a solo effort. Like, relays and teams are my absolute favorite part, as everyone knows, of swimming. So I think that was probably my favorite moment. And that was the third swim of the night. You'd already yeah. done the 100 back and the 500 freestyle. Yes. Tell me what... What the 500 freestyle means to you? What is that race to you? Is it something that you're working on so that you can improve your 200? Or is it something that you're thinking maybe the 400 freestyle is, is going to be an event that I can go for in 2016? You know, for right now, we're just seeing where we are with it. I mean, I think at State, I went that 541, and Todd was like, oh, okay, like that was pretty good. Maybe we should do it at sea level and see what we can do there. So I think, you know, coming in here, we thought, why not? Like, it, it'll be fun. It's a great meet. Um, and so we got out there and super happy with that time. I think with the conversion from altitude, that was two seconds better than my best time because I think it was a 4.36 was my best and I went a 4.34. So over the moon about it. I mean, it's a really fun event because I don't do it a lot. So even though it's longer than what I'm used to, I still have a lot of fun with it because it's just different and it's nice to do different stuff. It must be nice for an off event to go one of the fastest times ever in the event. So. <laughs> How, how rested are you? I mean, obviously this is your end of the short course season, yeah. but you've got world championship trials coming up, yeah. and um, it, this can't be the end of your season, so I, mm. I'd, I'd imagine that you're not all the way tapered no. for something like no. this. No, we rested about five days, which is still the most rest I've gotten since trials, mm -hmm. so it was awesome, and I wasn't really expecting it. Like, the relay on the first night, we had the 800 free relay, and I miscounted on my 200 because I felt so good. Like, <laughs> I haven't felt that good for a while, and on my 450, I was just like ready to keep going and I was like oh my gosh I don't know how many 50s I have left like I don't know if I'm done but so it was so nice to come to a meet and actually feel really good and feel ready to race because I mean all the Grand Prix and stuff we we don't rest at all for those anymore so those are really just like in the grind like training meets honestly and so those are awesome to do those so it's nice to come to a meet though where you feel just really good and ready to race. Great short course season in your senior year and now the biggest danger might be a little disease called senioritis. <laughs> How do you avoid that one here this summer and keep, obviously you've accomplished so much already. Thank How do you keep you. motivated going into this summer? We're, obviously world championships is a big motivation, oh, but absolutely. how do you keep fired up for this summer? Honestly, like it's not even a problem for me because I just love being able to go to practice every day and work hard. Like that's just what I do. It's part of who I am and it's my schedule every single day. Like there's just no changing it. It's just school, swimming, homework. Like that's just what it is and I love it. And so being able to go to practice and I know this is going to be the last couple of months I get to spend with stars and with my team. So we make all the practices we have now just so much fun and we know that it's coming to an end so I think we're all starting to appreciate it a little bit more and then school is is hard with all the stuff that I've been missing but this semester I haven't been missing nearly as much as I did last semester so it's been a little bit easier to keep up um, the homework is obviously the worst part of senioritis um, but I love my school Regis has been amazing and I'm gonna miss that so much so honestly like everything in my life is just absolutely incredible right now so I'm trying to just 
take it all in while I can because I know that I'm going to miss it, but I can't wait to be a Cal. And there's so much to take in right now with all the success, and it's created so much attention for you, <laughs> and you're just amazing. I've watched you every single night sign every autograph possible <laughs> and stay for all the pictures, whether it's kids here that are swimming or the kids who come down out of the stands after the meet's done. Does that, I mean, even though I know you love doing that, does it ever wear on you? Do you ever get kind of, I mean, just, it, it's got to be something that you at least have to be aware of, that you don't do it too much, or it could wear you out on me like this. Yeah, you know, what I, what I think about is Ryan said this at, I think it was Orlando Grand Prix, and we were talking, and he was saying, well, you know, one day, like, they're not going to want our autographs anymore. And that's so true, like, when we're... 40 years old or 50 or however old and we come to these things like they're not even going to know who we are anymore and there's going to be another 17 year old Olympian or 15 year old Olympian actually I think Katie Ledecky turned 16 today which is really exciting <laughs> um, but I mean there's going to be a, I mean, a whole new kind of pool of these incredible swimmers that come up and so it's just about appreciating the moment and taking it in now because I think it's so incredibly like humbling to have someone want to have your signature and how much signing a piece of paper can make someone smile and make their day and I feel like that's probably one of the biggest gifts I've been given is the ability to do that. And so coming up here, it's so fun because I get to see that happen. And I got like a little beanie baby from a girl today <laughs> who was up in the stands who gave that to me. And it's like, that's what makes it all worth it is those hard practices and the 500s is, is kind of going home and seeing those fan letters and having those little girls and boys write to me. Like there's, there's no better feeling in the world. You're a true inspiration, Missy. That's awesome stuff. It's been fun to watch you this weekend. Congratulations on a great senior short course season. Best of luck this summer and going forward. Thank you so much, Garrett.